one calamity after another, devious enemy now, devouring our society and culture, our country is going communist, warned Donald Trump recently. It's going Marxist, it's going really bad. And the people of our country aren't that way, but the people running it are. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than is this just election season bluster and hyperbole, or can the utterly unthinkable actually be true? Unthinkable because, after all, America sacrificed hundreds of thousands of young lives fighting communism in countries across the globe, from Korea and China to Vietnam and Cambodia and Cuba and many others, and was instrumental in forming NATO to contain the spread of communism. Then came the showdown with the nuclear-armed Soviet Union, when America's 40th president, Ronald Reagan, leading a militarily and economically stronger superpower, urged Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down this wall. And not only did the hated Berlin Wall come down, but along with it the entire USSR trending. Why Bidenflation defines Bidenomics how is it possible, then, just a few decades later, that the 45th president, Donald Trump, can state out loud what so many Americans have suspected but dared not say. That the greatest, freest and most successful nation in world history is in the throes of a full-scale communist revolution. Here's how author and commentator Mark Levin describes it in American Marxism, the counter-revolution to the American Revolution is in full force. And it can no longer be dismissed or ignored, for it is devouring our society and culture, swirling around our everyday lives, and ubiquitous in our politics, schools, media and entertainment. Once a mostly unrelatable, fringe and subterranean movement, it is here, it is everywhere. You, your children and your grandchildren are now immersed in it, and it threatens to destroy the greatest nation ever established, along with your freedom, family and security. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than, in America, Levin explains, many Marxists cloak themselves in phrases like, progressives, democratic socialists, social activists, community activists, etc., as most Americans remain openly hostile to the name Marxism. Marxism, of course, is the ideology, while communism is the implementation of that ideology. Adds Levin. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than they operate under myriad newly minted organizational or identifying nomenclatures, such as, Black Lives Matter, BLM, Antifa, and the Squad. And they claim to promote economic justice, environmental justice, racial equity, gender equity, etc. They claim the dominant culture and capitalist system are unjust and inequitable, racist and sexist, colonialist and imperialist, materialistic and destructive of the environment. Of course, he concludes, the real purpose of this multifaceted rebellion is to tear down and tear apart the nation for a thousand reasons and in a thousand ways, thereby dispiriting and demoralizing the public, undermining the citizenry's confidence in the nation's institutions, traditions and customs, creating one calamity after another, weakening the nation from within, and ultimately, destroying what we know as American republicanism and capitalism. Not your father's Democratic Party in 2023 America, the Democratic Party, it's agendas, its core values, its wall-to-wall -wall dishonesty, and its audacious and utterly ruthless methods, are virtually indistinguishable from those of modern-day communists. Compare the Communist Party USA's website, cpusa.org, with the Democratic National Committee's website, democrats.org, and try to discern any truly substantive difference. Since the Communist Party USA was long funded by the Soviet Union and traditionally very pro-Moscow, one might expect to encounter on its website classic party slogans like, Workers of the World, Unite, alongside photos of Marx, Lenin and other famous communists. Instead, the CPUSA's number one top of the page issue is, Believe It or Not, as the site's screaming headline declares it, Trans Rights. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than, the demonization of transgender people in the United States is today a focal point of the far right's campaign for political and economic domination begins the CPUSA's feature story, which condemns the fascist Republican Party for its oppression of people of color, immigrants, women and LGBTQ people. In fact, bemoans the article. The year 2021 saw a record number of anti-trans legislative proposals put forward by Republicans and evangelical Christian legislators across the country. No fewer than 110 bills in at least 37 states were filed. From Hawaii to Florida, Texas to Maine, Republicans went on a full court press to target trans people, especially trans female student athletes. Rousing his base with his usual recipe of hatred, 
Former White House occupant Donald Trump has eagerly inserted himself into the rush to villainize trans people and their supporters as well, claiming, Joe Biden and the Democrats are pushing policies that would destroy women's sports. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than big question. How did card-carrying communists, who for generations have bitterly decried the evil capitalist oppressors, exploiting and abusing the working class, mysteriously become preoccupied instead with insane, woke, gender ideology? Why is today's Communist Party USA obsessed, as are today's Democrats, with the radical LGBT agenda and the demonization of everyone, especially Christians, who stand in opposition to it? Even more fundamentally, what do severely mentally ill men who insist they are women and who destroy women's athletics have to do with communism? Investigative journalist and researcher Christopher Rufo illuminates the stunning transformation of communism from the Cold War era to today in the new face of Marxism. Essentially, explains Rufo, while Soviet, Chinese and other 20th century versions of communism were based on the concept of class struggle between the downtrodden working class and capitalist overlords, America's huge and largely contented middle class, with its unparalleled freedom in economic stability, made the old face of Marxism unworkable here. Thus, new oppression paradigms for Marxism in America had to be concocted, starting with race, the oppressed, comprising all people of color, and the oppressors, being all white people. It was natural, then, for homosexuals and transsexuals to jump onto the same oppressed minority bandwagon. After all, the powerful and well-financed LGBT movement strategically modeled itself after the successful 1960s civil rights movement, casting its members as part of an aggrieved, long-victimized minority. Then came illegal aliens, recently rechristened, undocumented immigrants, as the next, oppressed minority, for today's communists, and Democrats, to defend, recruit and weaponize as part of America's new Marxist coalition. Since today's communists are obsessed with embedding their ideology and agenda deeply into the next generation, straight-up Chinese communist-style brainwashing is occurring daily in public school classrooms across America. Explains Rufo. Time equals 400 ms, greater than their implementing critical race theory in K-12 education, for example, dividing children by race to two sides of the room, telling children of European descent, you should feel guilt. You should feel shame. You should feel responsible for historical crimes committed by people who look like you. And telling the other side of the room, you should feel anger. You should feel rage. You should feel a spirit of vengeance for the crimes perpetrated against people who looked like you in the past, by people who looked like your classmates on the other side of the room. In this way, many of the essential attitudes and emotions for embracing Marxism, communism, including envy, hatred of society's so-called oppressor class, a sense of personal grievance, a feeling of moral righteousness as a member of a persecuted, victim, class, and an abiding desire for revenge and revolution, are being implanted in the next generation of Americans. America's plunge into atheistic Marxism in virtually every area of life is stunningly explored in the October issue of WND's critically acclaimed whistleblower magazine, titled, America's Communist Revolution, How the Freest Nation in History is Rapidly Becoming a Marxist Police State. From cover to cover, the explosive special report shows how Marxism, communism is actually a major world religion, albeit a false and malevolent one. It reveals what really motivates the high priests of this truly dark atheistic faith, which has captivated untold millions and murdered millions more. And it vividly illustrates exactly how citizens of the greatest nation in history are now experiencing, to quote Barack Obama's words, a fundamental transformation of the United States of America why the greatest nation on earth is being consumed by communist revolution by david kupelian communism could it happen here it is happening here by dennis prager who says perhaps even more than in the soviet union lunacy has replaced reason asterisk we are living in a communist police state why isn't that the main topic of gop presidential debates by wayne allen root over 100 us k-12 schools linked to the chinese communist party by bob unruh is Barack Obama the real-life Manchurian candidate? There's going to be a revolution. We need to be organized and grow the movement, by Jack Cashel. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than, communist goals in America. Key objectives include discrediting the Bible, infiltrating churches and banning school prayer, by Jerry Newcomb, The Blur. 
how America was stealthily infiltrated and subverted by God-hating Marxists disguised as reformers and patriots, by David Kupelian. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, judge in Trump January 6th case comes from family of communist radicals. Tanya S. Chutkin displays open bias and partisanship in the conduct of her official duties, asterisk, how borderline personality disorder helps explain the left. Psychiatrist explains the scary difference between political and psychological projection by Brad Lyles, MD asterisk, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. We have a communist government in charge, urges voters to demand accountability from every Congress member on 2020 election and January 6 political prisoners by Alicia Poe. Trump. Our country is going. Communist, asterisk, the billionaire world. How Marxism serves the elite. Understanding the shocking consolidation of wealth in the Western world, by Hannah Nabintu Herland. She and Putin are shaping the new world order, while Biden mumbles, stumbles and lies, by Joseph Farah. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than asterisk, cultural Marxism is now, identifying, as transgenderism, by Walt Heyer, exposing Marxists, devalue, dehumanize and destroy, strategy at work in today's America, battling cultural Marxists. Now is not the time for conservatives to be timid, by Robert Knight. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than best-selling author and longtime whistleblower editor David Kupelian comments, if communism's oppression paradigm can change so dramatically, from workers versus capitalists to people of one race versus those of another race, to people identifying as homosexual or transgender versus everyone holding to traditional biblical values all wildly. Different pretexts for revolution. The implication is that communism, Marxism never was about any specific grievance or injustice in the first place. He adds, the great Winston Churchill offered a giant clue to this mystery when he referred to socialism as the gospel of envy. His insightful description acknowledges Marxism to be the religion it truly is a religion rooted in hatred and discontent, in envy and rebellion, in coveting what others have and despising them for having it. Small wonder Marxism, communism is atheistic. Marx himself notoriously referred to religion as, the opium of the people, often mistranslated, the opiate of the masses. Yet, in keeping with the far left's reflexive habit of accusing others of the very evils they themselves commit, Marx ironically created the ultimate false religion, which has served as the opium of hundreds of millions of people ever since. First, you'll get received the ebook edition of The Restitution of All Things, Israel, Christians, and the End of the Age, by WND founder and best-selling author Joseph Farah. Using scriptures almost exclusively as a resource, Farah will shock and amaze most Christians with a clear picture of what the coming kingdom of God will be like. Such prophetic scriptures and many others, closely matching the conditions of today's world, make a compelling case that we may be nearing this very special and long prophesied time, a time of great hope, but also of great deception. With so much attention by prophecy teachers on events to occur before the return of Jesus, the restitution of all things, looks beyond that to his 1,000-year reign of earth. It exposes the spiritual traditions of men that often overshadow the commandments of God. It lays bare the pernicious lie that has become known today as, replacement theology. And it is a wake-up call to the world, says Pharaoh, regarding the ever-present truth of the Bible, and of the reality of Jesus Yeshua, the Messiah, the King, the High Priest, the Redeemer, and Son of God. Pharaoh's book is an original, fresh and deeply thought-provoking look at that which every Christian believer looks forward to with hope, and with awe. Next, you'll get the state-of-the-art digital edition of Whistleblower's special edition illuminating Wokeism, America's official state religion. Going woke, conjures up visions of someone claiming to be acutely sensitive, awake, to systemic social and political injustice. And not just alleged bigotry against blacks, but toward every other minority, as well, from LGBT folk, especially everything transgender and non-binary, to undocumented immigrants. All of them, being victims, supposedly much more virtuous than the shameful oppressor class, primarily heterosexual. White males. This new, woke, Consciousness has turned America upside down, from the nationwide Antifa and Black Lives Matter riots in 2020, to tearing down of historic monuments, to demanding multi-million dollar reparation payments for blacks, to appointing transgenders as top government officials, to rampant reverse discrimination in every area of life, to the U.S. military imposing mandatory diversity training and transgender pronoun use on all personnel, 
causing recruitment to disastrously plummet. This insane new gospel is insightfully explored in Wokeism, America's official state religion. Finally, you'll get the digital edition of Whistleblower's sensational expose of America's public schools, The Greatest Betrayal, How Marxism and Madness Have Taken Over America's Public School System. This issue is completely sold out of the print edition, with many readers purchasing large quantities to give to others, although millions of American parents send their children off to public school every day, imagining their kids' days will be filled with reading, writing, arithmetic, science, history, sports and music, they're not only in for a shock, but total betrayal. Today's public, government, schools have become far-left ideological, political and religious indoctrination centers aimed at reprogramming and transforming America's children. Kids are taught to hate their own country and to see themselves and their parents as racists, or victims of racists. They are sexualized and corrupted, and many are groomed into the dark LGBT world, with almost 6,000 schools prohibiting parents from even hearing about their child's transgender, transition. In between all the far-left indoctrination and sexual corruption, teachers take time to scare children to death about the near-term end of life on Earth due to catastrophic climate change. Perhaps never has the true threat of today's U.S. public school system been exposed as in the sensational whistleblower issue, the greatest betrayal. This special free triple offer will end without notice. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater Than Whistleblower is now available also in state-of-the-art digital form. Subscribe to Digital Whistleblower here. Please note, when your whistleblower subscription is due to expire, you will receive a renewal notice from us. To keep whistleblower coming, do nothing and we'll renew your subscription. Automatically for the special low price of only $39.95 by charging your credit or debit card. There's never any risk, as you may cancel at any time for a full refund of the unused portion of your subscription. If you prefer, you may order a single copy of the October 2023 issue, America's Communist Revolution. Or get the digital version. Here, if you wish to order by phone, call our order line at 1-816-220-0359.